Can any of you parents tell me if you're tired of watching this? I know I am. Hey guys, this is uh, Nunbreakables, and uh, we are going to talk about some of the funny uh, life hacks, and uh, yeah, so <laughs> let's break into it. Okay, so the first one we have here, let me move over a little bit so we can actually show you over here, is the, hey, if you ain't got a bowl, and you're eating popcorn and watching TV or movie or something like that and you need something all you have to do is take your hoodie turn it around and use the hat part of it as a popcorn bowl why not right pretty good hack I, I don't know make sure that hoodies clean I'm just saying all right guys this next hack here is uh, pretty simple if you guys have a chair out in your porch, or maybe you guys are going camping and you just get tired of holding your drink, right? Everybody does. Um, so the easiest way to solve that is to take a, uh, a roll of duct tape and duct tape the bottom of it and then wrap it around your chair and then set your drink inside. You got yourself a drink holder. All right, guys, if you guys are like me, and I live out in the country, uh, and uh, during the winter time, it's really bad. I mean, uh, trying to swerve to hit a deer. I mean, sorry, not to hit a deer, um, and you end up hitting a mailbox. Well, the best hack for that is get yourself a stool from inside the house, uh, put you a 20 pound weight inside the center of it, and wrap your mailbox with duct tape around it and uh, set it up by uh, the where the old mailbox was and you got yourself a brand new mailbox all right guys this next hack here is a uh, is like a charging station uh, if you don't have one uh, and maybe say your cord is a little too short and it's not gonna your, your phone can't reach the ground or the table that it's on. Uh, all you do is you take one of your shoes, you wrap it around the cord, uh, the little outlet piece, and uh, you set your shoe there, let it lean up against the wall there, and uh, put your phone inside and start charging. Now you got yourself a, uh, a phone holder while it's charging. <laughs> How about that? Crazy but it works. Right. Uh, so if you've got a pair of pants that obviously are too big for you, right? And usually you wear suspenders, but on this day you forgot to wear the suspenders and your pants keep falling down. Um, all you gotta do is take yourself uh, some bungee cords, which, you know, if you got a truck, you probably got some in there. Uh, and uh, you just wrap them like they would be suspenders hook them to each side of you, the back side of your pants and the front side of your pants, and it'll keep your pants up until you get home. Right, this next hack is not the prettiest hack, but it does work, and it gives you this nice stream, uh, feels like rain, you know, uh, in your shower. So, uh, all you do is if, say, your shower head breaks and you need to uh, take a shower and you just don't want that solid spray, uh, you just take yourself a water bottle, you take some, um, like a knife or uh, maybe a needle or something like that and poke some holes in there and uh, wrap it around your uh, faucet there uh, or your shower head would have been. <laughs> and uh, there you go. You got yourself a new shower head until you can go to the store and get you one. Nice hack. Works. You should try it. All right, guys, so this next hack here um, is for the people who usually watch YouTube, Netflix, um, you know, Hulu, anything like that, streaming network on their phone, and uh, they don't want to hold their phone. So all you need is a chair, a bed, uh, or the floor, anything flat. Uh, you take a coffee table that has glass, 
uh, on the in, or on, on the, uh, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> the, the table part of it, right? Uh, not the legs, obviously. <laughs> All right, anyway. So you take that and uh, you lay underneath it and you put your phone on top. You push play on what you want to watch and boom, you don't have to hold your phone. Hey, has anybody had that one day when they're at a racetrack? No, just joking. It doesn't have to be a racetrack. It could be Disney World. Who cares? Any place outside that you're out and about and, and it, the sun's just baking on you and you're tired of it and you can't see because it's so bright and uh, you forgot your hat, right? So you take yourself a box, cut a hole in it, put it on your head, make sure your ears don't go through, right? Because your, your ears are going to hold it. And uh, you got yourself a new hat. Looks stupid, but it works, okay? It works, and that's all that matters. Okay, this one here, uh, you know, if you break a, a, a mirror, say you hit a deer and uh, it hits your mirror and nothing else happens, just your mirror. All you gotta do is uh, steal your girl's mirror for you guys out there, because I'm sure none of us have one of those. Uh, either go to the store or steal one, but uh, nine times out of 10, your girl's probably gonna have a mirror just like this and uh, wrap that bad boy around there and uh, use that as a mirror until you can get a new mirror for your car. How about that? Works 100%. Just don't go 95. All right, this one here is for all the gamers. Nice hack, uh, and if you guys hear this, you're probably gonna try it. But all you gotta do is take your cell phone and FaceTime your TV, turn your PlayStation on or your Xbox or whatever it is that you guys have got going on for you, and uh, FaceTime your phone to the TV and then make sure that FaceTime is FaceTiming your tablet and then bring your remote with you because obviously that's a Bluetooth remote probably and it can reach far and you can play your games on your tablet because your phone is FaceTiming your TV. All right this next one here is for kids uh, or me. I love love pudding. And it can work for anything that has bowls like this. Um, but if you forget your spoon and you're on the road and you're enjoying yourself at lunch and you're like, darn it, I can't eat that pudding because I ain't got no spoon. All you got to do is take the lid from it, spin the end of it like this, and uh, turn it into a spoon. Voila, spoon on the go. You guys ever remember those um, spindle like CD cases? You know, like you get a bunch of like a 50 or 100 CDs in one of those little spindle things and uh, go through and, you know, you use them, whatever. And then you got that case left over. You should always keep those because you can actually use those for croissants. Make your little sandwich, put it in there. It's even got the little circle thing. You just put it up in there and then uh, go to work and you got your little holder for your croissant, it stays all together, lunchtime comes around, you look like a chef. You know what I'm saying? A chef. Uh, this one here is for more of like the northern states who get really, really snowed in in the wintertime and we don't get this much snow where we're at, but hey, if you get a blizzard, perfect time, man. Open up the door, you just kind of like shimmy some snow away, turn that little area into like a little refrigerator, Shove all your drinks in there. You got yourself a homemade refrigerator while you're waiting for the snow to melt. Look, I know nobody wants to um, buy or rebuy something. So if, say, you have a clock up on the wall, somebody hits the wall, like, oh, what the? And then your clock falls and it shatters in one side. All you got to do is take yourself a piece of paper, put it behind the clock, retrace, put the numbers down. If that thing still turns, you're good to go. <laughs> put that bad boy back up on the wall. Ain't nobody gonna know no difference. And if they do, well, they don't need to be in your house, do they? Has anybody wanted to have a race car? Something speed, you know, 
I want me a hot rod, right? I want me a hot rod. Man, you don't even need a hot rod to make it look like one. All you need is a couple two by fours, right? You getting me so far? Two, four, couple screws. Make yourself a uh, spoiler out of two by fours. Put it on the back of your car, bolt it in, screw it in, soft tapping screws, who knows. It'll work and it'll make you look like you go fast. Yeah, no, I never tried it. I have trucks. And this next hack here, it kind of looks like uh, a cauldron. <laughs> that's, that's what I took when I saw it. And uh, yeah, it looks like uh, the witch is about to stir some food up. Uh, but apparently this here is a homemade hot tub and you ain't got to use no electricity. It heats it up, you get up in there and uh, enjoy your time with the ladies, you know? Yeah, about four people, one guy, three ladies. Hey, I ain't going to complain. And speaking of ladies, this one here is for the ladies. All you need to use to curl your hair it's some empty cans. What's up? Just wrap them around there. Hairspray it, whatever you guys do. That's all you need. You don't even have to go buy you some rollers. Just drink some drinks and use the empties. Okay, this one here is kind of funny. Um, for all you guys who don't have blowers, which a lot of people don't have blowers, and if you guys get tired of all the grass and stuff on your walkway, which I could care less, but some people do care, and well, there you go. You only need a fan and a long extension cord, and you can get this taken care of without a blower. I promise, it works. Three speeds, why not? Uh, this one here is, uh, if you have like, say, a broken washer, and you just haven't been able to take it to the junkyard. You know what? You don't have to take it to a junkyard. Put that bad boy up in in, in either your uh, man cave, your garage, your shed, and fill that bad boy up with ice and put you some drinks in there. Shut the lid, and I guarantee you that will stay there and it'll stay cold for a little while. Well, at least four or five hours, right? We hope. All right, have you guys ever had a cat that annoyed the living crap out of you because it kept climbing your plants or... Well, even a Christmas tree, but look, best hack for that one, take some uh, toothpicks, shove them all up inside there. Guarantee that cat will not try to go after that plant again because it's going to hurt when they don't want to walk through, right? It's like a briar, far, uh, briar patch, right? Only rabbits get through that. All right, for all you guys that have buckets, like maybe uh, a mop bucket or something like that, you just ain't got uh, a big enough sink to fill it because it's too big. All you gotta do is take a uh, dustpan, put it in your sink, uh, and then you know, a little handle part, put it on the outside, and then turn the water on and let it pour into your dustpan and then out into the, the handle and into the bucket. Fixed. Look, I tell you what, um, it's really, really expensive buying new tires. So how to fix a ball tire to make sure it has tread again? <laughs> All you do is take yourself a permanent marker, just make the lines, you know? And then when you go to the store, it looks like you got tread and your truck looks good again, you know? Until you can go get tires. That's how you do things around here. All right, man, if you guys uh, need a cup holder while you're watching TV at the house and you just ain't got a, a couch that has cup holders in it, all you gotta do is take a boot, shoe, a sandal. No, don't take a sandal. Unless they have the ones that have the straps in the back, that'll work. And uh, turn that into your cup holder. All right, guys, this is the very last hack uh, for now. Uh, I will do some more, uh, but this one's gonna be the very last one, and I thought this was the best one. That's why I saved it for the last. Uh, if you ever feel alone and uh, you don't want to feel alone again, all you have to do, now listen closely because this is going to work for you guys, okay? Turn the lights off 
and watch a scary movie because you'll never feel alone again. Guaranteed. 100% guaranteed. Trust me. Best, best advice I've given all night. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, we will be back with you guys soon. I'm sorry it's taken so long to do uh, the videos. I've just been kind of stuck on other things and uh, uh, fixing things and, you know, life things. Uh, I'm trying to make it more uh, on a regular basis, but it's just uh, sometimes life gets in the way, right? So um, I will see you guys hopefully in the next couple days. Uh, until then... God bless.